Hey, happy Monday. Happy Monday at work. So, um, after no contact, what can you expect to happen? Like, after you decide to, um, you know, put up, put up some boundaries and just, and say, look, that's enough abuse. What can you expect from the, um, the narcissists and the abuser, abusers to, um, to do and, and what sort of things to look out for? Um, you can pretty much guarantee that they are going to, if you haven't got mutual friends or if you've started a new like social media, if you're still on social media, you can pretty much guarantee that um, they're going to, like if you've blocked them and started new ones, you can guarantee that they're going to create like new accounts and um, just try to keep tabs on you, where you are, what you're doing, who you're with, um, who you're working for. So, um, yeah, if you, if you do cut them off, um, it's a pretty good idea to um, start a new Facebook with a name like, a, like an alias or something that they can't, can't find or, um, you know, any mutual friends that you might have between, between yourself and them, you might, you might be feeling a bit rude if you don't add them on your new, on your new Facebook, but is it worth taking the risk? You have to ask yourself, is it worth taking the risk of um, having these people watching where you are, what you're doing, all your personal business and passing it on, passing it on to the, um, the people that you cut off? So, I mean, you just got to weigh it up, you know, is it, is it worth it? Do I really need them in my life? And they could be being used by the narcissist or they could be, they could be into that kind of toxic game that those type of people like play so if you don't fully trust them um who cares if you if some people might think that you're rude or whatever or you know whatever they want to call you um say that you're being a snob or um any any whatever rude whatever it doesn't matter if as, as long as you're looking after yourself because we only have one life right if we don't trust someone fully we feel like they've got their our back it's, it's not worth it so you just cut them off and um start a new one you know there's a lot of things that happened to to me five years ago when i went no contact with my um mother and my half sister blocked them started new facebooks didn't add anyone who was mutual friends on the previous facebook because i knew that whether they were like knew what they were doing or not they could sometimes even even like good innocent people like could be tricked into being used as a flying monkey to pass information onto them that you don't want them to know anything about. Um, so I just said, you know what, it's it's not worth it. I don't I don't fully trust them. I feel like they're in touch with the people I don't want to be in touch with all the time. So I just thought I just thought you know what I'll just um, look after myself and my well being, and um, best move I ever made. Um, when they couldn't get in through that way, they were sending me uh, emails. I wouldn't even read the email. I just see it's from them, and just like not even read it, just delete it. Um, I had the settings on my new Facebook where only mutual friends could add me. They were using fake Facebook accounts. This is my mother and half sister, fake Facebook accounts to add my friends on my on my new one. To try and then add me and i could just see straight away it's like it was them and they just letting me know all they're doing they're these people all they're doing is saying hey here i am you can't get rid of me you thought you got rid of me but you can't it's just really pathetic is the, is the word for it pathetic um that didn't work they went through a job application and we're trying to find out where i was working through a job application that i'd use um other ones it was at the time I was single um, and I was on a dating site, like a, a well-known dating site in Australia that it was really creepy. My, my half-sister went through that one to try and trick me into thinking it was a genuine um, person, lady on this dating site. When then she started like typing and I could tell like the sentence structure was just like the, exactly the way my half-sister Tui um, types. 
and then asked me to add her on Facebook, uh, give me a link for my new Facebook. So me being a little bit, yeah, you, she seems kind of, you know, I'll just give it a give it a try. I sent her a link, this person that was the, the fake profile, who was my really my half-sister, sent this person the link of my Facebook. She then came back and said, oh, I can't see anything. And I said, that's because I've blocked you, and I know it's you, Tui. I know it's you who was hiding behind a fake account. Then there was, there was silence, and then the, the profile was like disappeared the next day. So that was just one of the many ways that they're going to try to just get get back into your life and kind of just mess with you. They just want to mess with you. It's really pathetic what they do, but that's how they... Um, uh, they, they don't have any respect for boundaries. They'll just keep going and going and going. And once you see how how they work, it's like they all they all act and think the same way. So it's really sort of, you know, uh, once you cotton onto it and you're onto them, that's it, the game's over. They have no power at all. All they do is hide in the background, hide in the shadows, and that's all they have. They have, if you were to confront them with the truth, they would have nothing to come back with because they don't, there's, there's no, everything they believe in is just like false image. Um, they don't stand up for anything. They don't stand up for themselves. They, they run and hide. I used to confront my half sister on the phone. She'd hang up every time because why? Because she couldn't back herself because she knew that she was what she was doing. And I knew as well. So every time I try to confront her, she would hang up the phone and run to her mother. Then they'll try to like go against me. It's just, yeah, they all work the same way. So I hope that, um, <clears throat> I hope this bit of advice can like get reach someone out there and um, just to watch out for after you go no contact. Cheers.